With more than 34 billion US dollars and 27 million tons of concrete, China has created a marvel that has left the entire world astonished. Not a rocket soaring into space, nor a space station floating among the clouds, but a dam. The Three Gorges Dam, the greatest wall of water ever built, stands as a symbol of human engineering and the ambition to tame nature itself. But once again, Beijing has shocked the world by announcing a more daring and colossal plan that will rise in a place once thought impossible to build. On the roof of the world, in the heart of the Himalayas, this mega dam in Tibet is expected to generate three times more electricity than the Three Gorges Dam, and could even alter the natural flow of the Earth's great rivers. It is not merely an energy project, it is one of humanity's most audacious ambitions in history. Join us as we uncover the mystery behind this engineering wonder, a project that may redefine the balance of our planet. Amid the towering Himalayas, where the landscape is carved by deep valleys and sheer cliffs, China is planning to build a colossal hydroelectric dam. The project is located in the Great Bend region, where the river plunges more than 2,000 meters from the Tibetan Plateau within just 50 kilometers. This site possesses the strongest hydropower potential in Asia, where the river's waters are forced through a narrow gorge, generating an immense amount of energy, enough to supply electricity to hundreds of millions of households. The project is designed with a capacity of over 60 gigawatts, producing up to 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year, three times that of the Three Gorges Dam, the world's current symbol of hydroelectric power. Power will be transmitted through ultra-high voltage lines from Tibet to China's eastern industrial centers, significantly reducing the need for coal-based energy and cutting hundreds of millions of tons of carbon emissions annually. Beyond power generation, the dam will regulate floods, maintain stable river flow, and support inland navigation. During the rainy season, rising water levels will be carefully managed to minimize downstream flooding, while in the dry season, a controlled flow will ensure water availability for agriculture and daily life. This project is not just a large-scale hydroelectric facility, it represents a major milestone in China's strategy for clean energy transition and national infrastructure modernization. To bring it to life, Beijing has approved an investment exceeding 1 trillion yuan, around 137 billion USD, four times the cost of the Three Gorges Dam, opening new economic opportunities for Tibet, a region long isolated by geography. Once completed, it will become the world's largest hydroelectric power station, reshaping the global map of energy and water management. Nevertheless, the project presents significant environmental and transboundary water challenges. Constructing in the Himalayas requires highly precise engineering and geotechnical monitoring. This mega dam is not merely a symbol of human engineering prowess. It stands as a testament to how far humanity can go in harnessing and mastering the forces of nature. Deep within the Himalayas, a monumental structure is taking shape. The Great Bend Hydropower Super Dam on the Yarlung Tsangpo River. From the dam site, engineers are drilling at least three massive tunnels through the Namcha Barwa Massif, a mountain rising nearly 7,800 meters, ranking among the 30 tallest peaks on Earth. Each tunnel stretches 34 kilometers long and 13 meters wide, linking the upper reservoir to a lower section about 2,400 meters below. Water plunges through the heart of the mountain, driving a series of turbines along the route to create a closed-loop artificial waterfall of extraordinary efficiency. With a design capacity of 60 gigawatts, the dam could generate up to 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually, three times the output of the Three Gorges Dam. Enough to ease the strain on coal-fired power plants and boost the share of renewable energy in China's national grid. Technically, this ranks among the most complex hydropower projects in history. Tunneling through a seismically active region demands maintaining stability in deforming rock, waterproofing under extreme pressure, controlling landslide risks, and ensuring absolute safety across 34 kilometers of tunnels. Every bore, every block of concrete, stands as proof of humanity's relentless pursuit of new limits, a battle of intellect and endurance between mankind and the raw power of nature. China possesses the greatest hydropower potential on Earth, 
Mountain ranges and high plateaus such as Tibet, Sichuan, and Yunnan supply abundant water resources, giving China nearly three times the hydropower reserves of the United States and twice that of Brazil. Tibet alone accounts for around 30%, equivalent to the entire hydropower potential of the U.S. Yet this vast region is home to only about 3.6 million people, and its harsh, fragmented terrain makes infrastructure development a formidable challenge. With the national goal of peaking carbon emissions before 2030 and achieving carbon neutrality by 2060, Tibet, often called China's energy treasure, is seen as a cornerstone in reducing the country's dependence on coal, which still dominates its power grid today. Since the 1950s, China has built more than 20,000 dams, over 15 meters tall. To date, hydropower plants provide one-fifth of the nation's electricity, ranking second only to coal-fired generation. To sustain its path toward green growth, Beijing must tap into the immense untapped hydropower potential of the Tibetan Plateau. At the great bend of the Yarlung Tsangpo River, the fierce gradient and vast watershed open up a rare opportunity for hydropower development. If harnessed responsibly, this site could become a strategic cornerstone in China's journey toward a new era of clean energy. Deep within the Himalayas, a colossal project is taking shape. The Great Bend Hydropower Super Dam on the Yarlung Tsangpo River. From the dam site, engineers plan to drill at least three massive tunnels through the Namcha Barwa Massif, a mountain rising nearly 7,800 meters high, one of the 30 tallest peaks on Earth. These tunnels will connect the upper reservoir to the lower valley, separated by a staggering vertical drop of about 2,400 meters. Each tunnel will stretch roughly 34 kilometers in length and 13 meters in diameter. Water will be channeled deep into the mountain, plunging through this immense height difference to drive a series of turbines along the route, forming a closed-loop artificial waterfall with exceptional efficiency. With a projected capacity of 60 gigawatts, the dam could generate up to 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually, three times the output of the Three Gorges Dam. This single facility alone could significantly reduce the burden on coal-fired power plants and expand the share of renewable energy in China's national grid. Yet from a technical standpoint, it stands among the most complex engineering projects in modern hydropower history. Tunneling through a region of intense seismic activity requires maintaining structural stability within deforming rock, ensuring waterproofing under high pressure, managing landslide risks, and guaranteeing absolute safety for tunnels measuring 34 kilometers long and 13 meters wide. This is a battle of intellect between humanity and nature, where every drilled meter, every cubic block of concrete, bears witness to humankind's relentless ambition to push the limits of what is possible. The downstream water supply now faces a profound challenge. As the river's flow is diverted through the dam's tunnels, discharge at the Great Bend drops sharply, cause downstream sediment to decrease by up to 50%. It therefore leads to riverbank erosion, soil degradation, and a collapse in fish populations, directly threatening the livelihoods of millions of fishermen. The Great Bend is the primary sediment source for the entire Brahmaputra system. Roughly half of all the silt entering the river originates here. A reduction in the upper flow would therefore mean a drastic decline in sediment reaching the Indian and Bangladeshi plains, accelerating erosion, land loss, and ecosystem decline downstream. Today, the Brahmaputra River provides water for nearly 130 million people and irrigates over 6 million hectares of farmland in India. In Bangladesh, the Brahmaputra Jamuna system serves as the lifeline for more than 170 million residents, supplying over 65% of the nation's water and nearly 55% of its irrigation, even though only about 8% of the basin lies within its borders. Overall, roughly 30% of the Brahmaputra's water volume originates from the Chinese headwaters. During the dry season, even a minor alteration in the regulated flow from upstream could have major downstream impacts, especially as Bangladesh struggles with saltwater intrusion and rapid sediment loss. A chain of large dams along the Brahmaputra could reduce downstream sediment loads by more than 50%, intensifying riverbank collapse, fisheries decline, and widespread ecological disruption. 
a cascade of consequences threatening millions of lives and reshaping the entire Delta ecosystem. China insists that its Megadam project will not reduce the water flow to downstream nations such as India or Bangladesh. However, the complex issue lies in the legal and cooperative dimensions. Beijing did not consult the two downstream countries before announcing the project, and the absence of a trilateral water-sharing treaty means that the filling and regulation of the reservoir are not bound by any common international mechanism. From a geostrategic perspective, the project is situated near the line of actual control in the Indian-administered state of Arunachal Pradesh, a region China refers to as South Tibet. Roughly the size of the U.S. state of Pennsylvania, this disputed territory remains one of the most volatile geopolitical flashpoints between the two nations. In response, New Delhi has launched the Siang Dam project downstream, valued at around $1.2 billion, designed to store water and mitigate upstream regulation risks. Yet such the dam construction could further reduce sediment flow into Bangladesh, affecting farmland fertility and the livelihoods of millions living in the Delta. International experts warn that without data transparency and a clear framework for hydrological cooperation, such massive projects could disrupt the environmental balance of the entire river basin, alter regional climate patterns, and trigger prolonged political tensions. This is not merely a story about water or electricity. It is a silent race for control over the very source of life, where every current and every dam carries deep geopolitical significance for an entire region. China plans to complete the project by the year 2033, turning it into the largest and most ambitious hydroelectric undertaking in modern history. This is not just another dam. It is a declaration of energy ambition and engineering capability from a nation determined to shape the 21st century. From the Three Gorges Dam, a project that once stunned the world and stood as a monumental landmark of modern engineering, to this colossal hydropower station in the Himalayas, designed to produce to 60 gigawatts of electricity, enough to power hundreds of millions of homes, China continues to challenge the boundaries of technology and engineering to new heights. From operating heavy machinery under extreme conditions to controlling one of the most powerful rivers on Earth, every step forward serves as proof of its ambition to redefine the future of energy. This project stands not only as a symbol of green energy ambition, but also as a test of humanity's ability to control and coexist with the forces of nature. In the pursuit of clean energy, human beings are confronting its own boundaries. On one side lies the unending desire for progress, and on the other, the fragile balance of the ecosystem. Every component, from the water channels to the turbine shafts, must operate with almost near-perfect precision. Even the smallest error could shut down the entire system amid some of the harshest weather conditions on the planet. But the question is, are we shaping the future or challenging the limits of nature itself? Can technology truly harness the fierce power of water at altitudes above 8,000 feet without unleashing consequences that reach millions downstream? Share your thoughts on this monumental project a living testament to human ingenuity and modern engineering. And if you believe the future of energy will be forged through bold projects like this one, don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow Mandarin Tech to explore more stories about green innovation and the incredible works defining our technological era.